Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna to be a bit of a different video. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a vlog. I've just done a bit of a get ready with me, but I started the video with a makeup free face, so that's not exactly what you wanna be greeted with when you click on the video. So yeah, that's my little intro. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna to be getting my hair done. Uh, just filmed the get ready with me, so I just quickly did this makeup in like 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna head out now. So I will speak to you soon. Already done my glove screen. That was my primer slash sunscreen today. I've just wet my beauty blender. I'm going to use the foundations. I mixed them, so I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm gonna pop a little bit of my hand. This is one and two Ecru, and then I'm also going to use a little squirt of this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour 201 Classic Beige. So I just literally put like the tiniest amount of that one in the middle of that, and then this is when I actually start to look human. Concealer. I'm using the NARS concealer. This is Radiant Cream Concealer in Light One Chantilly. Not really a huge fan of this, but it's fine. Got it, so I'm using it. This is like the fastest makeup ever. And then I'm gonna put the milk, uh, milk makeup. What is this? Whip and Cheek in the shade Work. This was in the Selfridges Advent Calendar and I actually really like it. Just dab a bit like that. It looks so pale on the camera. And then blend that out. I just think it looks really nice. A bit of colour to my cheeks. I'm just going to pin that hair back. Okay, next I'm going to use a powder, this is the Bare Minerals um, Mineral Veil in, oh it's just the original Mineral Veil. I'll just tap a little bit into the lid and then use the brush. Okie dokie, next we're going to go in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is nearly empty. It's really not good luck for me, is it? Nearly empty, so this might be my empties this month. Quite hard to get out the corners and spread it evenly. I'm just going to go into this. I usually use a smaller brush but I haven't got time just to put a little bit down the edge of my nose. Just like that. Right, next we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk uh, Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk, yep. Yeah. For this I just use this really big spectrum brush, just dab a bit like this and just pat it. A little sweep across my nose, that's done. Right, eyebrows. Now for my eyebrows, I usually go and stand in front of this mirror here, but I'm going to do it here so you can see. I'm just going to use the mirror from this palette. So I've got this little spoolie. This is a uh, tweezer man. Came in a set with some tweezers. I'll just brush everything up. Then we are using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, what's it called? Brow Powder Duo in the shade Ash Brown. That's what it looks like there. Two shades. And then I just mix them together with this little brush. This is the Zoeva Brow Line 322 brush. It's a really good brush for doing brows. I'll do this a lot slower next time so you can see. Um, and I'll show you the products properly, but yeah. So I just literally just brush them like that. Sometimes I don't really go quite as planned, but you know, 
it doesn't matter. Okay, so once I've done that, I then brush out the any sharp lines with my spoolie again. So at the front here, underneath. Again, brushing up. And then I use this Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, um, which is actually quite nice. Bit of a strange brush. But yeah, this is what I use. So I just brush up and then it's got like a flat side, so I just press it all down then. And it's actually really good. It keeps them in place all day. Done? Right, super fast eyeshadow. So we're going to use this Marc Jacobs palette. It's the Fantasine palette 790. Those are the shades. And I'm just going to use this very first shade um, as my base and this as the contour. That's all I'm going to do. So I just use quite a big fluffy brush like this. My favourite base brush for my eyes. I'm just going to go in with the first colour. Make sure I get all my eyelid. Probably not having a drink if you can hear that. Make sure I pack on enough powder because then it makes it easier to blend the second shade. Okay, so first shade done, second shade. So this is the brush that I use. This is the best brush ever. I need to buy another one of these. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the darker colour. Quick blow and then blend into my crease. I always take it underneath as well slightly so it looks either way. So I'm just literally going around my crease first. There's no more lights now Don't wanna fight now yeah. But I'm addicted to your love God damn Now this is not what I had planned No, I wanted to try From there in the distance So you can see what it looks like um, From both Because sometimes like up, look, up close it might look nice But when you look there it's like Oh, I need to blend it So now just use a big fluffy brush like this I'm just going to blend the edges like this. Okay, that'll do. Quick and I shall have done. Uh, next is eyeliner. So at the moment I'm using this Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner. It's nearly run out, so not the best day to be doing it on camera, but there we go. To see you burn it up, suffering, yeah, feeling like That's it, start in the middle, draw it out, draw it down, fill in the gap. I'll do it more zoomed in next time to show you, but I'm just being super quick. Guess my fool, I lost myself. Somebody help me get out of this place. And then finally, mascara. Currently using the iconic triple threat mascara. This is actually really nice. I like this one. Yeah, feeling like guess my fool, I lost myself. Somebody help me get out of this place. Don't know. I'm just going to pop a little bit of highlight on. So I've got the Natasha Denona Blind In Your Palette. And um, this is the ooh, Natasha Denona Blush Glow Duo. I just use the uh, glow side, as you can see. I'm just going to pop a little bit here. Done, right, lips. I'm going to use the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. And then my lipstick is downstairs, so this is my look for a minute <laughs> until I get my lipstick. But there we go, hair done, makeup done, and there we go. Let's go. So, a little quick clip. This is how long it is. It's like, it's like my waistline. And it's going to be cut, so yeah. See you on the short side. Get out of this place. Don't wanna feel like I am going down. Feels like I'm going down. Down. Yeah. Bring on my lights around. Down. Feels like I'm going down.
So I'm back from the hairdressers and this is what they cut off. So much hair, it feels so weird like she passed that to me and I was holding it like, oh my god, that's actually my hair. So we're ready for the reveal. So there we go, no hair, it's gone. I absolutely love it. I think it's like the perfect length. It's slightly shorter than I went last time I had it cut short, which was a few years ago now. But yeah, I'm obsessed. We've done these front bits slightly shorter as well. You're not having a drink. <laughs> um, so that when I put it up, um, these will stay down a bit shiny. I need to redo my makeup, but um, yeah. It's also like super windy today. Oh, there's Luna. Um, yeah, super windy, so I came out of the hairdressers and then it went phew. So yeah, it will look better <laughs> once I like brush it and stuff again, but there we go. So nice and bland again, nice and short. And yeah, very happy with it. So there we go. I'll try and get a picture later on my pop on Instagram. But yeah, new hair. So that hair there, here, um, I'm going to donate to the Little Princess Trust. Um, and hopefully they can put it to good use. Um, if anyone does want to donate to that charity, it's a really, really good cause. I will leave a link in the description box down below. So definitely check them out. Um, and if anyone else fancies getting the chop and getting rid of some hair, um, then really, really great charity to do it for. Really great cause. So yeah, so now I'm going to remove these nails and pop on some new ones I've got from Glamadoo. So I'm just going to touch up my makeup. I'm probably going to go and sit back upstairs and do my nails. I could sit in the dining room. I'll take you in the dining room, I think. So yeah, back soon. Oh, by the way, did you enjoy the uh, scenic route on the way there? We live quite in the hills, so it's quite a nice route into Manchester. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the views. And yes, I will go and get my nails and then we'll pop some new nails on. Okay, I'm back. I've just touched up my makeup a little bit. Put some lippy back on. We need to come back down to see who I'm talking to. Hi! Um, and yeah, I'm going to take these nails off and pop on some new nails I've received from Glamadu. Oh, do you want to get in there? Do you want to get in the video? Come on in. Yeah! Who's this? Look up here. Oh, say hi to everybody. Hi! Can you say hi? She's like, no, I want to walk away. I want to see what's going on. There's no food up here. No, there's not. Right, okay. You want to stay there? No, it's not food, it's tissue paper. There's tissue paper here. This is how the nails come from Glamadoo. It's not food, baby, it's not. You've had your dinner. Um, yeah, this is how the nails come, all beautifully packaged. Um, if you've not heard of Glamadoo, where have you been? Uh, they're really, really good. Amazing. So the girl actually makes the nails herself. And it's like acrylic nails, but ones that you just stick on. So easy peasy. So these ones are the Elegant Touch ones, which I showed you the box for this morning. Um, and to be honest, in the past, Elegant Touch have been really good. Push him off the chair, here, baby. Um, but the last two sets, so it's, this is the French 112 or something, and the other set that I had previously, which is the white one, which is going to be in this month's empties because I forgot to include it in last month. Um, they just go really thin. They like break down the middle and snap. So yeah, it's not great. And like they just lose shape completely. So that's not good so yeah but i've never had a problem with these this is the set that i've got that i'm going to put on it's very reflective and i'm going to take them out of the packet i'm going to have to move in a minute no this isn't food either just just a packet it's not food no it's not so this is the set of nails i'm putting on today how gorgeous i saw these other days as i was like oh my god i need those they're so nice she has so many nice designs at the moment on her page. I'll link her down below. I'll link her website and I'll also link the Instagram. Yeah, definitely check her out. She also does custom designs as well. So if you want something that you can't see, then yeah, you can still request something. Look at this. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, you're going to get down now. Go on, off you get. Go on, down there. Um, these prints, by the way, I'm going to actually pop on the wall. So I saw these, this was an Instagram ad from, I'm really high up here, I? Uh, this was an Instagram ad that I saw from, I think it's called Glam Posters. How nice are they? So I'm actually going to pop them on the wall there, I might do that later. Um, yeah, I also bought the frames, I know you can buy frames cheaper like when you get decennial prints and stuff, but I just wanted them all to be done, so. Yeah, I just bought the frames as well. And they're going to go on the wall, just complete the, well not complete the dining room, I'll say that, it's like the first thing in here, it's gonna there we go okay so when you open the glamour do set you get the nails um she has different sizes 
so there's a size guide. I always go for extra small, apart from my thumbs. My thumbs always need a bigger size. Uh, and then you get this little pack here like this, and in here, she gives you everything you need. We've got some instructions on how to prep your nails. Uh, we also have two little cleanser wipes, little nail file, some glue, and a little plastic orange stick. Um, should you want that? So I'm just gonna take these off. Um, I'll probably use that file actually today. What do you want? You gonna get down? Pepsi Max always. Okay, so I'll take those off. I've just measured to make sure that all of the nails here do fit my nails, because sometimes, sometimes I just file the edges a little bit, but they're all perfect. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of filed a bit of my natural nail as well. Um, you have to be careful doing that because you don't want to damage your natural nail, but I find that when they've been filed a little bit, they just stick a bit better. So that's what I do. Um, I'm actually going to use this Elegant Touch glue and pop just a little bit on here and then press them on. So yes, I'll see you with my new nails in a minute. I've got a bloomer on my feet. What do you want, baby? What are you doing? Like in the summer, I absolutely love all these neon kind of colours. They're just my favourite. I just think it looks so nice with the tan as well. If we get a tan this year, fingers crossed. So also there's going to be a brand new unboxing, Luna's having a biscuit now. There's going to be a brand new um, beauty box unboxing on my channel this week, within the week. I don't know when I'm actually going to post this. Um, yeah, a brand new beauty box reached out and it looks like a good box. So I'm excited to unbox that and share that with you. I always like to see new beauty boxes. And they're done. Got my claws back so I'll give you a little close up. Look how nice they are. Popped a bit of hand cream on. Still got a little bit of dust around the edge of them. Um, but yeah, amazing. Look how long they are as well. So nice. I love them. I've got yellow thumbs. So yeah, new hair, new nails, who dis? The hand cream I put on as well is the Ahave Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. This was in the Feel Unique Advent Calendar, which is actually really nice. I do like this one. I think this will be empty this month. There's not much left of that. So yeah. Love them. Definitely, definitely recommend that Glamadu if you're looking for some nails. Um, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but they're just like thicker. Can you? Oh, maybe you can tell. They're not like thin stick on nails. Like they feel like actual acrylics that I've just had done. But they stick on. Great. Okay, I was actually going to go upstairs and film an unboxing. However, I just thought, why not do it here? So. I'm going to show you what's inside this month's glossy box, which is here. Uh, this arrived last week. I was also waiting for Look Fantastic to arrive so I could film them on the same day. But it hasn't come yet, so I don't know where that is. Um, but yeah, glossy box is here. It's a special design this month, so this is perfectly imperfect. So this is the May glossy box. Um, if you are new to glossy box, again, where have you been? Um, it's a monthly subscription box and you get a box like this delivered to your door every single month with at least five beauty products and it's always worth over £50. Pounds. Um, I've been with Glossy Box for years now, such a long time. I think it's a fab box for the cost of it as well. Um, I can't remember exactly how much the monthly box is because I have a code for the first box. So if you're not subscribed, you can use code KTFXO and that gets you your first box for only £10 pounds, including postage. So yeah, you got a box like this to your door. So this is the May box. Um, it's usually pink with glossy box on, but yeah, this one's seen is perfectly imperfect. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so underneath, oh, am I gonna be able to peel it? Oh, I can peel it off. This is really different, this one. Underneath, we've got a mirror. So we can look how perfectly imperfect we are. Oh, that's really cute. That's a really good mirror, actually, considering it's in a box. Uh, I'm not going to turn it around because you'll just see yourself. Um, but yeah, and it says you are beautiful in four different languages. Cool. And then inside we get the packaging like this. We've got a little card now to do it all on QR, which is amazing. We used to get a booklet. Um, so I'm just going to scan this and tell you all about the box. This is the booklet for this month. Um, so it says... Um, at Glossy HQ, we of course love trying out the newest must-have cosmetics and playing around with the most popular makeup trends. But our aim is always to help every Glossy feel as confident as possible with or without their beauty bag to hand. 
Um, so to help you embrace your stunning self this month we've curated and edited products that champion this positive outlook because there's beauty in the unique, there's beauty in diversity and there's beauty in you exactly how you are right now. So that's really cute. Give you a little bit of a background of the box as well. And then we're on to this month's lineup. So let's have a look. So first of all, okay, this is even cuter. We've got stickers. Got some self-love stickers. How cute. A little extra there. So this is the contents. So the first product this month, and so the sneak peek from last month was this from Balance Me, the BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. Hope this lighting's okay. Um, this is from Balance Me, it's 30 mil. This is worth 10 pounds, the full size is 26 pounds. Um, this says, further love the skin you're in with this BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. Aiding you in removing dead skin cells, battling blemishes and improving hydration. Rich in salicylic acid, it's fast acting, fast absorbing and will reveal healthy, radiant layers of skin. So that's fab. Um, Balance Me is also vegan, so uh, yeah, nice product there to start off with. The second product we've got is from Mind Tan. I've had this before in a box, but I remember using it and actually really liking it. So I'm not mad that we've got it again. So this is a Mind Tan Exfoliating Coffee Scrub. So in here, there's 30 grams, it's worth 9.95. So this says, exfoliate and revitalize your skin with this full body caffeine kick. Buff on freshly ground coffee to smooth your skin and target unwanted dry skin too. Enriched with ultra hydrating sweet almond and macadamia oils, your skin will be left feeling oh so buttery, soft, smooth and glowing. Yeah, it's really nice. I remember this from last time. Um, it's not much in there, so it's probably only one use if you're gonna do like your whole body. Um, you can maybe squeeze two uses out of it. But yeah, that's the second product. Then next, this is a little bit different. So this is from Daily Concept. It's the Daily Round Silicon Scrubber. Interesting. Um, this is a full size, it's worth 16 pounds. Um, we couldn't give you a gorgeous body scrub without giving you a super handy body scrubber to use it with. Pair this silicon tool with your mind tan scrub to not only gently exfoliate the skin, but also allow yourself to enjoy the feeling of a massage. So let's have a look in here. Oh, so not if I can open it now because of my nails. So I've kind of got three exfoliating products then so far. I've got a chemical exfoliator now, a physical one. Ooh, so this is like a silicon, like matte thing with, you put your finger through there and you can use it to exfoliate. Oh, that feels quite nice. That's like, that'll actually work really, really well with coffee scrubs because it's always so messy, isn't it, the coffee scrub? If you can kind of pour it out onto this, be able to keep it in one place. I like it. I'm gonna give that a go with that. That looks good. Okay, the next product is this little one here. This is from Sophia and Mabel, and it's the Wear Blushing Creamy Blush Stick. We actually had something from Sophia and Mabel. Mabel? Yeah, Mabel. In last May's box. If you can hear that, that's the virgin water filter thing. Just, it just, I don't know, I don't know what it's doing. Um, yeah, we had something from this brand in the May box last year. And weirdly enough, I actually sat at the table to film the May unboxing last year, because I didn't have blinds and it was super sunny. And here I am again with the May unboxing downstairs. So yeah, weird. Um, but anyway, this is the Weird Blushing Creamy Blush Stick in the shade Blossoming, I think. I remember not being impressed with the eyeshadow palette last year. It was just a bit small and not really what I'd use, but hmm, let's have a look at this. Okay, so it's a full top. Oh, okay. So this is quite similar then to the Milk Makeup Stick that I used this morning when I just dabbed it on my cheeks super quickly. Um, this, it looks like it's got a bit of a glow to it as well. Oh wow, okay, that's that's very pigmented. I've still got foundation on my uh, hand, but yeah. That's actually really, really pigmented. It's got a nice glow to it though. Oh, I'm intrigued. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna try that out. So, oh. I oh, smell it. Got my hair still. It smells nice. I think that's got a smell to it. Hmm. I think that's nice. I'm pretty sure it's that, and not just my hair. My hair does smell nice though. <laughs> so this says, um, oh, it's worth thirteen pounds. Um, add a beautiful pink tone to your cheeks, even on days when you're feeling a stripped back makeup look with this cream stick blush in stunning shade blossoming. It's perfect for all occasions. We love it so much. We're blushing. So, let's see. Okay, it blends out quite nicely, actually. Obviously, I've just put like way too much on a tiny little bit, but 
that's not bad actually if you only put like the tiniest amount and just dab it like I did this morning I think that'll be all right that nice okay so free exfoliating product and a blush cheek tint uh, the final product is from Grace and Stella and it's the Collagen Boosting Eye Mask. Ooh, this looks nice. So this is what the packaging looks like. So this is a pair of eye masks. They're worth £3. And um, it says, focused on firming and hydrating the under eyes, these pretty pink eye patches draw in moisture to even at the deepest layers of the skin. Powerful antioxidants help protect skin from blue light exposure, whilst other key ingredients help maintain healthy blood circulation and strengthen capillaries. Bye bye dark circles. They sound nice. I do love some eye patches. There's a lot of serum in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? It's like a lot of serum, which I'm not complaining about. It's better than having them super dry, but yeah, nice. So those are the five products that we got inside. So we've got the Balance Mix Foliate and Concentrate. So we've got Chemical Exfoliator for the face. We've then got a Physical Exfoliator with the Coffee Scrub for the body. Then this really cool tool to pop it on with. Uh, this is from Daily Concepts. Um, we've then got the blush, cream blush stick, um, and then the eye masks. So overall, I think that's a nice box. I think that's better than the May one last year. Um, yeah, I will definitely use all these products. I was a bit unsure about this when I opened it, but I think that feels nice, and I think it's actually gonna be quite useful for the coffee scrub. So yeah, if you're interested in Glossy Box, I'll leave it a link below as usual. Um, you'll find it on all of my, I think all of my videos, I've got the discount code and the link in case you fancy signing up at any point. And yeah, you can get your first box for only £10, which is a bargain. Yeah, £10 for five products, you're paying £2 each for the products. I think that's good. And yeah, and they always do the limited edition boxes as well, don't they, which are just incredible value. So yeah, that's this month's glossy box. Um, okay, so I was actually going to put these pictures up now, but I feel like I'm going to need Dan. So this might be a tomorrow job. But yeah, they're just so, so stunning. So you buy the print separately, it's like an actual poster. Um, but this has got like, yeah, you can see it there, can't you? It's like mirrored, like metallic. So I've gone for silver, because um, as you can see our table is like a grey colour. You saw it before with Luna, didn't you? It's like a, it looks like a concrete effect, um, but it's not concrete. And yeah, we've kept the chairs from the old table, which uh, the chairs are like black. So I went for a black frame. I just think they're gonna look so nice on the wall. But yeah, I don't think that's a today job now. Plus it's 10 to six, how's it 10 to six? Like I don't think I actually got home from getting my head until like four o'clock because it's like over an hour drive. So I just had my dinner, which was like quite late. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go and do a little bit of studying now, doing some training for some stuff. Um, I'm also working on a really, really exciting project which I'll hopefully be able to share more about soon. Um, this is something completely different. It's not beauty related. It's not unboxing related or anything like that. So yeah, that's the hint, that's it. It's not really a hint, is it? I'm not telling you anything there, but yeah, hopefully. Oh, I'm hoping that if I start talking about it, it'll actually give me a bit of a kick to actually get on with it and get it done. Um, no, actually, these are gone on the wall. Um, I'm gonna lift them down to show you the prints because they're just so nice up close. Um, and I'll link them below as well. I think it's called, what did I say it was called? I think they're called Glam Posters, but yeah, I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, I'll just take them down to show you. Um, and then I'll probably actually walk Luna first and then put them up. So this is the print. You can see the reflection, super shiny. Yeah, we don't have a light fitting yet for this room, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Super, super shiny. Yeah, you're just gonna see a reflection really, aren't you? But yeah, I just think they're absolutely stunning, so I'm going to pop those on the wall. I'm just going to take Luna for a first. Watch this. She'll go for a walk. <laughs> She'll go for a walk. Shall we? Come on in. Come on. Yeah, should we go for a walk, shall we? Should we go for a walk? Yeah! Leave me there. Okay guys, so back from my walk, pitched that on the wall and yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do more of these kind of videos. Um, and yeah, I will see you. Come here.
we'll see you in the next one